Good evening viewers and welcome to the third edition of the Arena. For those of you who missed the two previous editions, this is a collaboration between the Trent and Tobago Boxing Association and ACT and the official station for the boxing. Tonight we have a sun ball card and it's going to be interesting as usual. But we have one surprise. We have the return of Aki Utram, one of our most promising boxers who took a break off of the, um, the sport. Now he's back and he's going to be coming up in against Jesse Beckers. We also have Michael Alexander in our feature bout. Stay tuned as we take a break. When we return, joining me ringside is James Beckers. Carlos, for the past few weeks, you have been acting very strangely. What is the problem, son? Mom, brother, I don't know how to tell you guys this. I'm HIV positive. What did you say? I said I'm HIV positive. No, no. After all that we have been through? Jessica. No, this can't be. What a privileged life that we have given you. Jessica, no. No, I can't. Jessica, I can't. Jessica, no, calm down. What Carlos needs now is our love and our support. Son, what do you need from us? Thanks, Dad. When Dr. Mirage first told me that I tested positive, I was so scared and confused. I just felt hopeless. Like my life was over. But now that I know that I have you guys' support, I feel that I can go on. Son, you'll get through this. We'll get through this as a family. Sorry, we will get through this.
Now, Posadi doesn't throw bombs, George, if you realize, but no. his guile and the movement. He connects. Uh, he, he connects. Does. And once you connect, you're scoring, he, points. He scoring points. And once it's hard enough to connect, well, it, well it, 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 okay. Did connect there with a right oh, yeah, hand. and that's a good right. Yeah. But now he has to defend himself. If you, if you throw one good punch, then you have to realize now you have to defend yourself. And he doesn't seem to be in the business of defense. He allows himself to be That's it, you see? You can't score one, take two, and expect to win the, 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 the bout. But one thing I admire with him, he never backs down. He always keep attacking. Well, that's the type of um, boxer he is, George. When I say that, it's his style. Even if he has another opponent, I think he will box the same way. He doesn't adjust um, to like if he's boxing against a brawler or a boxer or a puncher or something. He boxes one way all the time. Mm -hmm. And as a boxer, you have to adjust. But definitely, I would like to see in Pasadi, I could write hand there from Pasadi. I would like to see Pasadi with a different opponent. Well, not so much the opponent. I would like to see Ramdev adjust. Show that you can adjust the boxing boxers that can move, and I think he hasn't shown that yet. But do you think he will box differently if he has a different opponent? No, he won't. We saw it um, a couple of times with him boxing Nairon Hussein, who is always Nairel Hussein, I think it is, who is also another mover and who uses the ring effectively, like Pasadi does. Yes, one thing Pasadi, he always uses. He's always on the move. Yeah, yeah. And it's the same thing with, with Nairel Hussein. They're always on the move. So that Ramdev has to adjust. He's following instead of cutting the ring off. And that's, that's the biggest problem. He needs to stop the movement of the, the opponents. And he's not doing that. That will take some foot adjustments and some side to side movement, uh, George. Yes, you see, he landed he, some good shots there. Did, yeah, he did. But then up. right here comes Pasadi again. And he's losing some of these rounds, basically a, a, at the a, end a, a of the good, round. A good right hand there from, yeah. from Pasadi. He's decide. losing it at the end of the round, George. Yes, a lot of where, the time. Where, uh, the exchanges, is, yeah. Um, the exchanges are sometimes quite good, but coming down to the end of the round, he's losing the round. And that's the end of the, two, the second round, actually. We're going to the third and final round. But so far, Pasade definitely has the, this match soon up here. I mean, there's a final round. Anything can happen, but uh, from looking at... Uh, and we have judges, George. Yeah. <laughs> Always remember that. Yeah. We have judges. <laughs> so the third and final round in this first match here, this is the 48 <laughs> kg. Pasade versus Ramdel, the third matchup together. And from the indications, it looks like Pasadi is going to continue his unbeaten streak. Unless Randall comes up with something, you know. And George, I think we're doing quite well in terms of the, the coverage. I stated this the last time. Yes. The coverage itself is so clear and so precise now. Yes. A far cry from what we had some time back. Yeah, yeah. We're actually getting to see the boxers closer. Yes. And what is happening here? This is the third edition, and it has been going from strength to strength. You know, I, I quickly want to mention too that the crowd support. It had definitely it's been growing, been, yes, it's yes. been growing. Well, one thing I can say is that um, Ax TV is making much more adjustments or better adjustments than Kevin Ramdew. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> because we deep into the turn wrong and nothing has really changed no, for Ramdew. No, that's what I'm saying. They have, um, Ax has moved on to, so, to pretty nice coverage now, clear, precise coverage, almost digital, George. Yes, so, and um, um, Ramdew has not. right hand from Pasadi. So Waterman has a lot of work to do with his charge. Definitely has to. He does, yes. he does. 
And I think he knows this. I, I think he, because you can hear him in the corner um, urging him on and telling him what to do. But telling the boxer and getting him to do what you want him to do is two different things. Definitely, definitely. Now that's also a no-no from Pusadi there, where his mouth guard is halfway out of his mouth. The yeah, referee should have. He has. The referee should have already caution him for that and, and besides that too sometimes he gets complacent he drops his hand low you know well that's that's his style of boxing you know if you if you notice george i don't think yes. we have we have ever seen him with his hands up definitely but, but what i'm noticing he's not as he's not a boxer with fast hands so fighting a different opponent you know that can land him in some trouble it can but at the moment he's comfortable with this yes. and um i guess he will make adjustments he will when make he adjustments when he when he's boxing somebody yes. else but for now he's just comfortable or very comfortable with with ramdev ramdev needs to have some more side to side movement instead of coming yes. straight forward yes. Just where he is there now, George, he should be, and see how he's coming forward, he should be moving to the side now, instead of just following the, the guy around the ring. Well, that's, that's the end of the first round, and we go to the decision, and uh, making it three out of three, uh, Kelvin Pasadi winning his ball. And you see Kevin the same thing Randall. I mentioned before, George, if you realize that, I told you about the judges, it's a split decision. It's a split decision. I couldn't see that any, any which way. And we go into the 80 kg category here. And coming in, in the red corner, we have Tyrell Cadet. And his opponent is Nickel Joseph from the Trinidad Tobago Boxing Association. And uh, Cadet last bout, he lost to uh, Tyron St. Clair. So he will be looking for a victory here in this bout. Let's see if he improves from that uh, bout with Tyron St. Clair, where St. Clair defeated him. So this is the second bout on tonight's card. And because you always talk about uh, Cadet is built for a young 16 year old well there's joshua but this one is another good um prospect i think he is from um he's from YTC. ytc yeah pretty good and yeah, a youngster he, he, that too he has a strong um physique but built oh yeah for, for a young man but um if you if you're looking carefully or we saw Nickel jo Nickel Joseph um some time back too. He is not a bad boxer either. He comes out of um Sun City. Yeah. But Sun City has been suspended for a little while. Yeah, so their boxers. So their boxers now the box under the, the ambit of the association. But um he isn't bad either. Comes out of the same gym as um as Sinclair. And he's scoring some, with some really yes, nice yes, he punches is. here. Definitely. Scoring with some really nice punches here. And that's going to bring a KD. I don't know if you want to explain, as a referee, if you want to explain to the viewers, um, when the referee stops the bout and issues an eight call, it doesn't take away a point nor give a point advantage to the no boxer. believe it or not no george you have the gist there it's not really that it's just saving the boxer from punishment so, yes yeah. because in this type of boxing or olympic style boxing it's more for the protection of the boxer okay. and the health of the boxer so if he's in trouble or he's got or he's getting um punches or a series of punches the referee can step in give him a a KD or an eight count as you guys call it mm -hmm. and when that happens and I think here comes another one or oh, no okay but the referee can stop it and give him a count so that he can um, regain his senses and box again yeah because um why why I mentioned that is that um, I was speaking to somebody who, who saw the boxing 
and they were arguing how the boxer got two uh, standing air count, right? And um, if the points, and they, I was trying to explain to them that this is not professional boxing. This is uh, this is no, well, not not amateur, but you know mm. the safety of the boxer. The safety of boxer, the safety of the boxer is paramount here, more than in professional boxing where yes. it is to hurt the opponent. Here, it's not to do that, and whether or not you get. Uh, a KD in a wrong George, you can come back and win that round. Definitely. And this is the sec actually the second round here. And yes. so far, Nicole Joseph has been having things his way. Those uh, long arms. Yes. Those yes, long arms, yes. um, George. It's just that I find he's so straight up. Well, he's straight up, yes. But the long arms plays a very <laughs> essential part. If you notice, if you use it properly, um, it's going to do you well. And he is using it well. Yes, because he has been scoring. Yes, and he's using the jab well. There he goes again. The other guy is much stronger than he is, you can see that. But those long arms will definitely make a difference. And I think this, um, the YDC boxer there should have his hand up. A little more. You see the punches coming. And um, Nicholas seems to be the stronger of the two punchers. Well, I don't know about stronger, but he's landing more. So he's the more effective puncher. And I think... He's the more effective puncher. There's another um, KD. One more, I think this should be the end of the bout. Well, not, I think he got... This is his what? Second or third? Second it's supposed one? supposed to be his... I think he got two in the first. I think he got one in one, the first. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. So let's see what happens here. I, I mean... I probably would have um, stopped it by now, George. Well, I guess... But I guess, I guess yes, I was just about... Yeah. yeah. Might not be But sometimes, but. sometimes fighting back is just willpower, you know. Yes. And you notice how Nicholas Will keeps power and, sticking that jab. Uh, yes, and he isn't wasting much punches. Yeah, you can yeah, see that. Yes, yeah. He isn't wasting much punches. And he's right there. He's right there. You'll realize he's doing a much better job than Ram yes, there yes. of cutting off the ring. And I think you notice that. Now, that's supposed to have been stopped right there. Right there. Right there. That's supposed to be a count. That would have stopped that right there. That's too much punishment in this type of boxing. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's much I too much punishment. So. Maybe, maybe a little late, but um, it's it was very late, George. Yes. And um, because he did um, receive some good headshots. Eh? Yes. And if I'm stopping there, I wouldn't go to even count. Okay, no, I would there. just stop it there. Okay. I wouldn't count again. Well, that's preserving him for another day. George. A good performance by young Nicole Joseph. And he's pretty young too, yes. George, by and the way. A lot of these boxers are the young ones who are just, you know, coming up in the ranks and looking to, you know, make that mark. So, official results. Nickel Joseph from... Just Nicole to confirm, Nickel Joseph. Yes. We have... Our next bout, and that's in the 57 kg, already in progress, we have Blessing Waldrop from the Baronet Boxing Gym and Tyreek Weeks. I think these boxers fought in the second edition and Waldrop also won that bout, so it's going to be interesting to see if Weeks can improve and stop that winning streak of Waldrop. Over Weeks? Yes. He won over Weeks before? Yes. Um, okay, yes. okay. Well, yes. That's that's interesting. but. As we start, we realize that Blessing Waldrop is not boxing the way he um, usually boxes, George. You, you see that, that? Isn't that if you box as a boxer and you defeat him on maybe once or two occasions, you come into the ring maybe a little bit overconfident and decide to try different things? I don't think this one is that, George, because, I mean, he, looks, he even looks awkward boxing this way. He even looks awkward boxing this way, George. If you if you look at it, this is just not his style. Even his foot movement now is different. He isn't punching properly, um, and so on. So let's see what happens. Keeping his guard high, held very high, is wall drop. Yes. 
let's see what happens when it comes to his boxing ability now because he's not showing as much punches as he um as he normally does and he would be on his bicycle all now george yes that's how that's how he usually boxes now even his hands look kind of suspect 10 seconds remaining 10 seconds round. remaining let's see how it goes and i think this is a a, a close round probably he might even have lost this round uh, that's wall drop yeah i think so i think because the yeah, other guy was even more aggressive we're and not so seeing wall drop as you said um i'm now looking at him and really realizing that maybe he might get things going here in the second uh, round good punch there from, from his opponent yes let's see if he, he changes um a little bit but he seems to be same way he's going he's boxing the same way and one of the things you notice is that he isn't showing much punches george the other guy is showing more punches much more, than yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. He's much more involving it. That's um, Weeks. And Weeks lands a good right. Um, oh. A push there. By yeah, Weeks. push by wall drop, in fact. We must take time out, uh, Mr. Beckers, to say a special thanks to the referee judges who, you know, really come out and support the, the boxing. It's 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 good for them too, George, in the sense that um, they're gaining experience, experience and yes. so on. But at the same time, um, we really must thank them for their participation at all these events. Yes, definitely. One of the younger ones in the in the ring there, um, Miss Providence. Yes, one of our former uh, former national boxers. Yes. Yeah. You know, it's a pity we are not seeing much ladies in the sport right now. Well, we have a, a recruitment drive on. In fact, we have a training course on now, George, where okay. we have quite a few ladies. Ah, yeah. Now, well, he went down without a punch. Well, judge. that is what I, I realized. So, I would suggest that. Um, I, I, think, I think it's a exhaustion. Uh, yes, I, uh, yeah. He's just exhausted and he just threw himself to the, the canvas. I wish we could have seen a, a slow motion replay of the. Uh, so, he's unsteady on his feet. They're going to call the doctor and. Well, Waldrop picking up his second uh, win here over Tyree over weeks. weeks. And there he's receiving his prize from Mr. Tansley Thompson. Promoter and former national footballer. Going into the 57 kg and one of our favorites the crowd favorite is young Nairel Hussein from the Biomel boxing gym his opponent in blue is Shakim Hernandez from YTC YTC reminds me so much of the Sun City there is never a bout without without a, yeah a YTC couple guys. YTC guys somewhere around but let's see what happens um Nairel George something is going on in the in the the camp of Biomel because but Nairel is not on his horse today. Well, we He's saw not it in riding. the second edition too when he fought, and um, he has totally gone flat footed. Yes, and strangely enough, yes. You but know, let's so. see what happens. And Hernandez is no slouch, George. Hernandez is no slouch. A very slow and first round. Yes, but one thing you notice also is that um, unlike a lot of the YTC boxers, Hernandez has um, yes. his hands up. Yes, yes. Maybe Coach Akwe. Maybe, but he is one of those that, that has there. his hands up. Uh, let's see if Nairel is going to go to work there now. Not much punches shown in this round, very George. slow uh, first round. Yeah, as you said, slow. Or maybe a few other adjectives, but... Not much No, action. ah, good right hand by, um, by Hernandez. Another left by Hernandez there. 
So probably he's starting to gain some confidence, George, knowing that Nairo isn't boxing. That's the end of the first round, but definitely a change in the style of Nairo. Maybe, you know, we can get in touch with. But what happened there is that he actually let Hernandez into the, the, the bout, probably making it a very close round. We still don't know who would. I, I, I think it's a toss up to who won this first round. Let's see what happens in the second round. Hernandez coming at him again. And I can't recall any of Nairel about where the first Ah, that's a good end. right hand by Hernandez. Normally, Nairel doesn't get hit that much. De de definitely. And what I'm saying is this is the first time I'm seeing that a wrong has ended and Nairel didn't win that wrong. Well, you know, you <laughs> and, and you would definitely know when he wins a wrong. Yes. You know? So, um, that was very close. And a lot of missing too with his, with his shots. Yes. Well, I think he's boxing out of his norm. Maybe He's we, boxing we out of the norm there. A, 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 a respond from the coach. Well, we can we can probably do that afterwards. But um, I think this is the first bout where I'm seeing Nairel getting hit that often or getting hit that often. And um, I would be very inquisitive, George, to find out the reason why he's not his normal um, riding his bicycle or his horse. Rafi tells them to box, as you said. Oh, oh my. But Hernandez, Hernandez is certainly enjoying this yes. bout, George. Another left by Hernandez there. Remember, Hernandez lost his last bout to Jamal Hines. Which was a, a, a harder bout for Hernandez, yes. I think. But um, if Naira boxes his usual way, it would also be hard for Hernandez. And you see Naira throwing a lot of punches, but they're not connecting. Well, let's see what happens now. Ah, uh, there he goes down. Hernandez is chasing. Oh, that's a good left. I t this is the first time I'm seeing this guy being hit like that. Yes. And I certainly can't understand, George, but um, at the... A right hand from Hernandez. Uh, Nairel is on the defensive. This doesn't happen uh, very often. That's the end of the second round. And... Suffice it to say, George, I would have to give Hernandez yes, the yes, second round. Yes, also, I think the first round may be a bit, you know, close, but... The first round was definitely close. Definitely the second round. Uh, the uh, second round, nice. definitely Hernandez. Let's and see and what happens. And he closed nicely, closed the round nicely. Oh, yes. And he had... That's another good ride by Hernandez. Uh, another and, one yes. again. So Naira doesn't get hit that much when he's boxing. Without a response from young Naira Hussein. Well, let's see if he can pick up um, at least in this third round and try to win the third round. He's coming forward. Is what he's doing coming forward? I think he realizes now, George, that he is is behind. Is behind. We're seeing some urgency on his part, but that might get him in trouble because he could leave himself open. Yes. And Hernandez is fighting a very smart fight. One good thing though is that he has his hands up. Yeah, yes. he realize he has his yes. hands up all the time. Yes. So, ah, all right, two good shots there. I get another right by Hernandez. I think Nairel has to pick things up now. At least win the third round. You know, the first round was close. So, at least win the third round to ensure that you have a chance of um, winning and not losing your un undefeated um, record. If he loses, this will be his first bow that he yes, has oh, he's, he's been caught He connects. Game. Hernandez connects again. And you can see Hernandez is starting to um, play now because he realizes that he's, yes, he's, he's hitting as well. Yeah, he's growing in confidence. Uh, Hernandez. <laughs> this, is, this is strange seeing Nairel Hussein box, box this way, George. So is it going to be the first, first defeat? defeat? Let's see. Nairel? So far, looks that way, but um, anything can happen. This is boxing, and then we have judges. Well, he finished well, he finished but I still think there, that he won. Yes, I, think, um, I still think that um, Hernandez won. Yes, yes. Uh, let's see. If let's see how the, the judges had it. Unanimous. Oh, well, the judges had it unanimous, so... There was no doubt, George.
first defeat in his, of his career. Yes. So I think he would probably be about 1 and 12 or something now. When we go to the 65 kg category, we have a, a former uh, cosmic boxing um, boxer, Akil Otram. He's now with Biomel. And he's facing Jesse Beckles from the Cosmic Boxing Gym. Otram in the red, Beckles in the blue, 65 kg. Mm -hmm. uh, this should be a very interesting fight here because it should be current against former George. Yes, and Otram, there was a time where Otram was on top of his game. I think this is the first time we've seen him. Yes, we, we haven't seen him in about a year and probably yes. nearly close to two years. But Beckles has been a consistent performer. Um, but this is a tough matchup for, for Beckles, George, it because will really test Beckles, it will really yes, test Beckles. and it's totally out of his weight category. Yeah. George. Otram is known to fight between 64 and 69. What I like about Beckles is that he doesn't back down. He doesn't back down from a challenge. But um, sometimes you have to know the fish that you're going on fry, George. <laughs> 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 you have to know if it has bones in it or if it's um, yeah, 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 a, yeah. Nice, a nice slice of curry or kingfish, yeah, you know? No bone in it. Yeah, you don't go on fry herrings, you know? Yeah. So let's see how we perform here. Let's see how it does. I think the experience will be good for him. Um, it will still be good because okay. um, win, win or lose, he's going to gain some experience from yes. this. Because if he loses to Otram, I mean, you're losing to a seasoned boxer. And seasoned and a, a former national, national boxer yes. who was represented trainer at um, several games and qualifiers and so on. But like I said, Beckles fights between 56 and 60. Sometimes he would step up to 64. But um, Otram... He's a natural 64 to 69 um, kg uh, boxer. Good exchange. Good exchanges, George. So it's a really tight first round. But Becker's definitely holding his own so oh, far. Oh, he is. He is. Despite I mean, the, the weight um, disparity and so on, he's holding himself. Um, he's giving himself um, a chance. Good exchange. Let's see what happens in the. Um, let's see if he can withstand the pressure of Otram George. That's well, that, the main that, that's thing. Because um, Otram is a. Ah, what puncher. a right hand! That's a good right hand by Otram. A bit of showboat in there by Otram. And he's quite unorthodox. This is one of the, the first times that we have seen him box natural. Yeah. Yes, yes. He's very unorthodox. Good shots landed there by Beckles. I think Beckles is a vastly improved boxer from uh, he is. when he had stopped, he had gave up boxing for a while. And he is one of our natural boxers, but um, sometimes, like I said, George, you have to, um, weight plays a big part and you have to be accomplished. That was a very close first round, by the way, George. Yeah, well, let's Probably see. given to... Um, Otram? To Beckles, I would say the first one. But it was very close. It could go either way. Okay, let's see how he responds here in the, the second round. Ah, that's a good ride by Otram. Let's see. And probably he's, getting, he's finding his mark now. Yes. But Beckles not really backing off. He's no, he's not deterred by all that. He's not deterred by all that. That was a good exchange, by the way. And we seem to be getting more and more um, popular with the press now, George. You see photographers yes. during side, you see newspaper people now. And um, that all goes yes. well the boxing for building the product. It's getting the, 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 uh, the um, because, um Getting a good shot there. Yes, the boxing is definitely getting the kind of um, exposure that is needed. It's always essential when you're building a product. And um, let's see what can happen. Beckles is holding his own, though, I must say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I thought that, um, that Otram, based on his experience and, 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 and strength, yes, will, would have um, overpowered him yes. by now. I thought so too. Yeah, and I, and I think um, 
and also you have to realize that um, Otram would have outnumbered him in, in terms of number of bouts and, and so on too. Yes. yes. I think this bout will do a lot for 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 young backers, and I would very really love to see the outcome of this, whether, whatever the outcome in this game, match is. I would love to see him again against um, Otram. Yes, because he's connecting. Let's see what happens at the end of the round, George. Otram guard is held very, very high. I think probably Beckles may have made a, a, a comeback here. Yes, he's coming back into the world because he's connecting. Yes, he is. And ah. I, I, I saw Otram there, you know, with his mouth open. So I don't know if, you know, again, we see Beckles, Beckles lands up. again, yes. So he isn't doing badly. I think probably he would have won this round. Even if he lost the first, I think he would have won this round. So let's see what happens. Oh, okay. He threw him to the ground there. Yeah, you can you can see uh, Otram is looking a bit exhausted. That's the end of the second round. Yeah. Uh, Otram walking very, very slowly to his corner. And I think Beckles won the last round, George. Yes. Um, had I think a good he won the last round. Yes. This third and final round is going to be interesting. I think the, 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 the boxer that wins this round is well, going could, to could determine the winner. Yes. yes. Otram a bit quicker. Yes. But well, he's definitely taking the ball. Some to, really good exchanges. To, to, to Beckles. Beckel stands. Well, he has speeded up the action, you realize, George. Yes. He has come out um, steaming in this final round. But Beckles is not backing off. Well, he usually doesn't. But Otram now connecting a bit more. And I think that um, the person who wins this round is going to win the, yes. win the yeah, I think I think the, the first two rounds were, were, were evenly shared. Were quite even, yeah. Which I'm landing some good. Um, yes, he's he's connected more 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 frequently now. And he's the busier the, uh, the busier the, the boxers in this round. And Beckles isn't backing down either. Beckles is still punching away. Yeah, he's so, he, yes. Yeah, so he's making a, a, a bout of it, and this is going to be close. Ah, uh, let's see scoring. what happens. Yes, he seems to have scored there. Again, uh, uh, oh. I, I think that looks like a, 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 I, I, I a wrestling showdown. <laughs> I think his exhaustion here with more so with with with, with, with Beckles, you know. Probably. He's, he's, he's not showing it, but, he, but I am sure, you know. Well, while he's boxing, he's, he certainly isn't showing it, um, George. He isn't showing the exhaustion, but let's see what happens. That's a good exchange. Somebody's more somebody piece in the ground. Gun, yes. Beckles coming back here, but he's caught there. I think this this, this was a good ball. This was uh, definitely good a good right ball. Right hand by Akil there. This probably one of the best, the better bouts of the night, George. So far, yes. So far, yes. I don't want to say the best bout of the night, but one of the better, better bouts so far, yes. Beckles still battling. And still, must, and still scoring too. Credit must be given to Beckles, definitely for definitely. Yeah, yes. yes, he's showing heart. But just about ten minutes remain, uh, ten seconds actually remaining here. I think this is going to be a close one for the judges. Yes. I think Akil won the last, um, the last round. Yes. Well, a good performance from young Jesse Jesse Beckles. Wonderful. Yeah. What the judges have to say? Well, ah, oh, well, Akil has won this one, but um, very, would, very close. I would love to see these two guys box again.
high tendency. And we go into the second to last bout of tonight's card. This is Mike Innes from Biomel Boxing Gym. His opponent is uh, Antonio Rivalo from the White Sea Conquerors. And this is 60 kg. Seen Rivalo a couple times. Both boxers actually. Rivalo, one of the better boxers from, from YTC. I don't know if you'll agree with me. Alongside uh, Romel Lizama. And it's good to see that he's still representing YTC because he's now on the outside. Oh, zone. yes, yes, that, yeah. That, he's that, now that, back. Yeah. He's a free man now, a free boy, I must say. And he's coming quite the only way from, I think it's Rio, Rio Claro. Yes. To represent YTC Conquerors at all the bouts and so on. Yes. He, hasn't he hasn't changed gyms, which is um, phenomenal, George. Yes. He's still part of the YTC setup and he's uh, boxing for them wonder, on I, all I, the cards. I, I wonder how he, how he gets his training. Well, that I don't know, but he seems to be very enthusiastic about boxing for YTC. Good Some hand. good shots yes, by yes, Mike. Yes. Good shot by good shot by Mike Innes. You see, and what can hinder Rovalo here is that if you're not you're out of YTC and if you're not in a gym, um, I guess you will be coming into bouts not really fully prepared. That's one aspect we have to look at. He's showing some good movements. He's, he's always been one that doesn't um, throw his punches, um, I guess, straight. And you realize that most of the YDC boxers, their hands are down again, George? Yeah. But I like and really he's like boxing a classic boxer in my goodness. I would really like to see Rivalo gets, you know, into a gym and continues this, 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 this training. Well, there's a gym in Rio Claro, so hopefully he will be able to, um, to oh, fit in. Okay. And um, whether or not he continues to represent. That is why we really need the community, you know, gyms, you know, really getting things on board and... Yeah, I because we wouldn't want to lose somebody like Ravel. No, no. Although no. he's from Rio Claro, we won't we won't want to lose him in the system. And he has to come way down into Aruka. Oh, what a um, shot! Good shot. Good shot. What a shot! And I think all this has to go back to him not being training and out of a gym. I think so too. Because George. I've never seen him, and that's the end of this bout. Yes. But I've never seen Rivalo, you know. Or being oh. tagged like that, yes, yes. yes. So Mike Innes is the winner. But we see Rivalo in good spirit still. It's good to see him. In always, place. always. Right? And I really, um, I find that guy who, who, who resembles the guy who is doing the announcing of this. Very much so. And our last bout on tonight's card, really the main bout, we have uh, our um, Olympian, Michael Alexander, and uh, we have one of our boxers here who really comes up big at times, Kylan Ruse, and this is in the 66 category. Michael Alexander, first time on the arena. I'm sure that the viewers would have been longing to see um, young Alexander. Uh, let's see what sort of opponent rules will be here. Very quick hands by Alexander. Rules guard held high up. And I always say that Michael is the only boxer that can drop his hands way below his waist and gets them up so quickly he's so unorthodox his hands are so fast really really you know would like to see young alexander go on from strength to strength but he has a ruse a very tough opponent a smile on alexander face but so far alexander definitely having things his way and you see Ruse here challenge him to come on. So Ruse is definitely getting tagged. But he's still game. 
has Alexander up against the rope. So we're still into the first round here in our final bout on tonight's card, the third edition of the arena. This is a collaboration between the Trent Tobago Boxing Association and ACTN, where we are highlighting a number of boxers. Some you would have known by name, some new upcoming youngsters. And that's the aim of this project here, to identify the new prospects. So actually, Alexander here, more or less using this boat as an exhibition boat. But just like in the bout with Beckles and Otram, who's given a good train of himself. Wouldn't want to say he's out, out class here, but a left hand there from Alexander. Remember the days of young Michael Alexander when he was just barely reaching the third strand of the rope alongside the Dugadines and he has grown from strength to strength and that's the end of the first round. And that's the start of the second round here. That first round definitely have gone the way to the boxing blue Michael Alexander. Let's see if Rose is going to make any improvement here in the second round. But Alexander, the more attacking boxer presently. Backs up Alexander. Rose is backing up Alexander, but he's not making the proper use. And then the defense of Alexander making it very difficult. Alexander, with all his experience, one of the more traveled boxers, like Alexander. If I'm not mistaken, the bronze medalist at the Commonwealth Games. So again, Rose will definitely have to learn from this experience fighting a top-notch boxer as Alexander. See Alexander, they're calling on Roos to come in and box. Roos not backing down, but he's not getting off any shots whatsoever. The quickness of Alexander. As Roos goes in there, the defense of Alexander making it very difficult taking those shots on the arms. It's Ruse turn now to be backed up against the blue corner. Again, we see not getting anything inside there's Ruse. So again, we want to say thanks to all those who have been contributing to making this boxing event a success. Too many names to mention, so we just want to say a special thank you to each and every one. So just remember, every Friday night at 8 p.m. on ACTN, there is boxing for you. Back with the action here. Michael Alexander certainly having things his own way. And that's the end of the second round. And this is the third and final round. See Alexander here toying with Ruse. Body shot there. Hello. 
will definitely, Alexander, definitely enjoying this bout here. But still, who's the stand up stands in front of him? Not what I admire with these guys here is that, like with the bout with Otram and Beckers, all those Beckers was on the weight fighting in a different weight division. He never he never backed off. He kept coming and likewise here with with Ruse, fighting an experienced boxer like Mike Alexander, and he keeps going. He's not backing off. He's there. So it shows heart of these boxers. They are willing to stand toe to toe with the experienced boxers, and I'm sure that at the end of this bout, he's going to at least learn something. But definitely, Michael, you know, on way to this victory. trying again but the hands of Alexander blocking most of the shots I think he must have, he look, it appeared that he got a shot inside there but again as Alexander leans on the rope comes back out nicely Ruth has a smile on his face. <laughs> what definitely here was outclass in this bout is Ruth. But take nothing away from him, he still kept on trying. And that's the important thing. Because it will just take one good punch and you can turn the entire bout around. So he has to keep on believing. And that's the end of the final bout on tonight's card. Kylan Ruse and Michael Alexander. And unanimous decision. And it's Michael Alexander here winning over Kylan Ruse. Well, viewers, we have come to the end of another edition of the arena. Interesting as usual, we hope that you enjoy your stay with us. We ask you to be with us every Friday at 8 p.m. on ACTN. Remember, the arena comes to you every Friday at 8 p.m. on ACTN. So we look forward to you in our company. See you soon.